गैस लाइट ये ऐसा टर्म है जो मतलब ट्विटर डिस्कोर्स पे हमें बहुत ज़्यादा देखने को मिलता है एंड मैरियम वेबस्टर हैड ऑल्सो डिक्लेयरड द वर्ड ऑफ द ईयर वंस सो एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन इज क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स मतलब ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट ये होता है कि ओके यू आर बींग गैस लाइटेड असेंशली इफ सम वन इज डेलिब्रेटली लाइंग टू यू इन अ वे कि आप अपने ही वर्जन ऑफ इवेंट्स को क्वेश्चन करने लगो या अपनी रियलिटी को क्वेश्चन करने लगो and that real life horror is something director pavan kirplani has brought to his latest film hi i am pratiksha and you are watching my review of gaslight gaslight ka premise ye hai ki misha played by sara ali khan apne papa se usko ek letter milta hai which is like ghar aa jao hamara rishta hum sudhar lenge i am sorry for what happened something on the lines of that and she decides sure why not now we find out that misha had an accident at some point earlier in life and that's why she's confined to a wheelchair when misha reaches this haveli kind of location she is welcomed by her stepmother jo abhi i think essentially wahan ki maharani hai rukmini played by chitrangada singh ab we find out that unke relationship mein thode stresses hai because misha blames rukmini for her family falling apart or her parents separation yaar yaar we find out that um, the the idea that she has of her father might be different from the idea that others have of her father since who itne saalon se kahin aur rehti thi she has missed out on a lot of family gossip if you will now we also find out ki is sab mein her dad is not there so now what she has to do is figure out ki uske papa marzi se kahin chale gaye ya kuch hua hai and are people around her lying to her usi time pe aise रात को विजन्स आ रहे हैं शी इज सींग सम वन इन दी हवेली जम स्केज आर हैपनिंग पीपल आर रनिंग अराउंड दर स्केरिंग हर अ लॉट इज गोइंग ऑन बेसिकली नाउ विद इन दिस प्रेमिस पवन कृपलानी हैज असेंशली रिटर्न अ प्रिटी गुड स्टोरी राइट सो द जम स्केज वर्क प्रिटी वेल वो मतलब इफ यू आर नॉट सम वन हु इज़ वेरी मच यूज टू हॉर आई फील लाइक द जम स्केज विल कम एट गुड प्लेसेज दैट विल कम एट गुड टाइम्स एंड दे माइट हैव देर नेसरी इफेक्ट we know that pavan kirplani is a pretty good horror filmmaker especially from phobia phobia was an amazing film usme bhi aisa hi tha ki ek um, real life horror if you will was taken and put into the cinematic universe uh, if i'm not wrong the person suffers from agoraphobia and then we see how her visions also kind of translate into real life wo sab hota rehta hai and it's a pretty enjoyable thriller so the man clearly has a grasp on horror and wo dikhta hai isme bhi and there are places where he uses like very famous paintings by like goya and vermeer to kind of showcase the emotions jo wo film mein dikhane ki koshish kar rahe hain it's something that you know i guess only shows up if you you know google and go frame by frame but it was fun it was a little fun little exercise to do during watching the film now sara ali khan as a performer in the film there is a little to desire little left to desire kyunki she's good she's okay she's giving her like she's playing the role well she's uh, you know saying the dialogues fine but when the film stakes rise i feel like her performance doesn't rise to match those stakes so wo thoda sa problem hota hai they show again with dikran masse who is also in the film as the estate agent called kapil is that we've seen him do this before like it's been done before so wo he doesn't stand out in the film at all because you know okay, okay this is what we have to expect from him his role in haseen dilruba actually was much better than what he has done in this film chitrangada singh however mm-hmm. gets a pretty decent role she gets a pretty meaty role i'm sure matlab you want her to do more man karta hai ki acha is role mein aur thoda zyada kuch hota hai aur thoda agar hum unke motives ko explore karte ya unki life ko explore karte to acha lagta बट शी डज अ प्रिटी गुड जॉब जब उनको सेकेंड हाफ में स्पेशली इमोशनली बहुत हैवी रोल प्ले करना होता है देन शी शाइन्स इन द फिल्म लाइक शी डज अ वेरी गुड जॉब एट दैट पास ठीक है उसमें भी देर आर सम प्लेसिस वेर शी फॉल्टर्स बट ओवरऑल इट्स अ प्रिटी इंजॉयबल परफॉर्मेंस माई मेन इशू विद द फिल्म इज दट इज अ स्मार्ट स्टोरी दस नॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड वेरी स्मार्टली इस पर जो क्लाइमैक्स वाला सीन होता है ना उसमें इट फील्स प्रिडिक्टेबल सम ऑफ द मतलब लूप होल नॉट द लूप होल सम ऑफ वॉट यू से the twists and turns if you will that come pehle are also a little predictable if you've seen the genre a lot but the climax especially doesn't hold as strongly as the story does it's like having this wonderful sweater jo aise last knot pe bikhar jata hai and that i think is what left me feeling a little dissatisfied ragul dharuman does the cinematography for this i think he's the dop and unka aisa game of thrones type lens hai शो पे एंड दैट्स अ लिटिल टू डार्क इन सम सीक्वेंस पता नहीं चलता कि हो क्या रहा है एंड एंड दैट्स नॉट इन लाइक एड्स टू द सस्पेंस काइंड ऑफ वे क्योंकि लाइक सस्पेंस है बट 
दिखना तो चाहिए ना कुछ बट अदरवाइज द फ्रेम्स दैट ही पुट्स इन द स्क्रीन आर ब्यूटिफुल सम ऑफ द फ्रेम्स आर गॉड जस्ट इज जस्ट दिस वन लाइटिंग लाइक दिस डी सैचुरेटेड थिंग दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम बट ओवरऑल अ प्रिटी प्रिटी गुड जॉब द हॉन्टिंग काइंड ऑफ बैकग्राउंड स्कोर बाय गौरव चैटर्जी इज ऑल्सो प्रिटी वेल डन लाइक इट मैच इज द फिल्म वेरी वेल कहीं पर भी ऐसा नहीं लगता कि वो दिट सीमिंग आउट ऑफ प्लेस समटाइम्स दे यूज लाइक टिपिकल हॉर क्लीशे साउंड स्केप काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट ठीक है दैट्स इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द जॉनरा We also have, I guess, a very crisp edit by Chandan Arora, which helps the film a lot. Gas Light at the end of the day, its premise is very good. The story setup is pretty good, but it doesn't get properly executed properly. And that's a pity, because the film is pretty decent. But those little things, and especially the climax, the way it unravels, like I said, hurts the film pretty much. But the thing is, at the end of the day, it's a decent thriller. I feel like it's a good one-time watch, because Pawan Kirpalani has this great eye for horror. But especially because now it's such a mixed bag as a film, you know, because the climax, man, it's it's like for this genre, it's it's genre definer as a sort, you know, when you see the climax. And for that reason, for that reason, my rating for Gaslight is two point five stars out of five.